Hello everybody. My name is Jane and this is Murphy and we are a St. John Amblin therapy dog team and we visit at the University of Saskatchewan Posher Stress Program. We also visit in the four ho uh, hospitals in Saskatoon and a senior's home on a regular basis. We also do things that we call one-offs, which means we only visit them once in a while. So Murphy has been a therapy dog for five and a half years. And he today is going to show you, since you can't pat his wonderful soft fur, he's going to show you today, today the ways he relaxes. And relaxing in the time of the pandemic is really really an important thing. My husband is working from home and he says he's more tired than he, he is when he's in the office. So it's really important for us to relax. So I'm going to show you all the places in my house, which is, I apologize for being a few minutes late. I was making sure that it didn't look too disastrous as we walk through the house. I'm going to show you all the places in the house where Murphy likes to relax. So this is one of his favorites. I'll get up so you can see a little bit about where it is. So this is kind of central in my house. We have the entryway on one side. We have the back entry on the other side. We have the kitchen in the family room straight ahead. And the downstairs is from here too. So that means when he lies down here, he's kind of central to the house. He can see all the comings and goings. So this is one of his favorite spots. And you can see how he likes to circle around as most dogs do and put their blankets exactly, just exactly how they want. The blanket he's on was actually given to him by Irene Dubay. He helped raise money for a um, mental health unit in the OER. He raised $75,000 actually with the letter they wrote as if he wrote it. And this is one of the thank yous that Irene Dubay gave Murphy. So this is one of his favorite spots. So let's go, Murphy, come. Let's go into the living room. Come, Murphy, come, let's go, come on, let's go. He says, what is going on? He says, I'm dressed in my uniform and I'm in my uniform and we're not going anywhere. So this is a spot. This is my piano. And when Murphy decides that he hasn't had enough attention, he likes to sit underneath here. Sit, Murph. He will actually go to sleep on my pedal foot. Now try playing the piano when you get a dog on your pedal foot. He's pretty smart and knowing how to get my attention. But he either will sit there or come on over here. Another place he likes to sit when I practice. Murph, sit, is on the other side. And that's a whole lot easier to play the piano. And my husband tells me if I go out that there's another spot he likes to sit. Come Murphy, this way. Come. He says, Mom, what are you doing? Come on. So this is, yeah, come sit. So this is by our front window. And my husband says if I leave and he's in the house, then he will stay there. He'll fall asleep there waiting for me to come home. So another common theme in all of this is that Murphy likes to stay connected to me. He's never very far away from me. All the spots he has to sleep in the house are there because he can be close to me. So staying connected to the people in your household and through the website and as the Facebook pages we're doing today is another really healthy way to stay healthy. There you go. Murphy's, I'm going to see if I can get on the other side so you can see his head. Um, excuse me while I don't get stuck. There. So there he is. 
behind the, the chair, looking out the window. It's also a very sunny spot. And as the dogs get older, they like lots of sun. And that's another reason why he likes this spot. Yeah, okay, Murphy. Why don't we go to the sunroom and show them some of your favorite spots there? Come on. Let's go. Can we go? Come. Come. There we go. Let's go to the sunroom. Come on. That's a boy. Come on. You coming? <laughs> you can tell this is the first time I've done this. I apologize for the times that Murphy is not in the frame. Come this way, Murphy. This way. Oh, well, while we're past, well, we'll come back to that room. This is our sun room. And this is a spot, it has several spots he likes to sleep. Come here, Murphy, over here. Sit. So this is the spot. Go take your phone. Okay. <laughs> this is the spot where his, it was his original bed. And it's here where he has his ribbon. Before I bought him, he, was, he won Best Puppy in the Show in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. And you can see around here, he has lots of stuffed toys. He actually has the original ones he came with at seven months of age. So his blanket here came with him and some pretty old looking toys. He's eight years old now. So he actually picks these up and plays with them, but he never hurts them. So we put them back. Oh, good idea, guys. Wanting to know about his uniform. So, he is wearing his uniform. He actually has a special collar that he wears. And I used to volunteer with him at Saskatoon Music Festival. It wants me to have the phone only in one direction here, sorry. Um, and so that was my link between my two volunteer lives. My therapy dog work is now taking up so much time that I've given up the music festival but I still play the piano. So that's a link between something that is special to me. He has his bandana on and he has his name tag with the codes on the back. It's always, and I guess that's upside down to you. So whenever I visit in the hospital, I always joke that if they call a code, we can ask the dog and that normally always brings a smile which is the purpose in my scene, saying that. He also has a vest on. On one side, it's his therapy dog. On the other side, it has the name of the company who has sponsored him. So if any of you out there are interested in sponsoring any of the dogs, you can contact St. John Ambulance and you can have your company's logo put on the vest. So this is one of the spots he likes and you see he's very good even though I'm directing him from one spot to another. Um, so the ID tag with his picture on it um, allows him to go anywhere in the hospitals. It says that he has been certified to do that. Um, <laughs> and oh, somebody's making a comment about the fundraisers and the $75,000. The letter was really, really cute. Um, it really sounded like Murphy had a PhD. And even the envelope had a picture of Murphy on it. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple other spots in this room that he likes to sleep. And basically, he, he's not as often on this bed if we're in this room. He's not often in that bed. If my husband likes to sit in a chair and he'll sleep on his feet, if I'm not around. If I'm around, he comes with me. So let's go see another spot he likes. Murphy, come.
Murphy, come. He says, Mom, I'm comfortable. I don't want to come. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. This way. Up you go. Up in the coach. So this is the first dog I've allowed on furniture. He's my third dog, one at a time. Go on, Murph. Up you go. And this happens to be my favorite spot to sit in this room. So he will snuggle on this bed. Oftentimes he put his head across my leg, which is one of my favorite things. So he has lots of places where he likes to sit. Basically always close to us. Now this is a good spot I think to show you this. If you notice this ear looks different from This ear. This ear looks a lot softer. And this ear looks a little greasy. And there's a reason for that. Murphy has an ear infection. And so in the last week, I've had to take him to the vet. So it's important to always take care of our health, whether it's COVID-19 related or not. And they had special procedures at the vet to protect him and them and, and myself. And so now he's feeling a lot better than he was, but the medication makes his ear pretty greasy. So that's how come one ear looks soft and pretty and the other one looks a little greasier. So Murphy, why do you say we go to show him one of the places we spend a lot of time? Yeah, we spend time in this room too, but I'm gonna show you the spot he asked to go after a visit. So after a visit, he gets a treat, and this quiet, relaxed dog will actually howl to get his treat when he gets home. And after he has his treat, then he will whine to just like, to just be with me, and I'll show you where that is. Come on, Murph, we're gonna move to another spot. He says, Mom, what are you doing? Come on, let's go. Come on, good boy. Come on, this way. Come. Good boy. We're going this way. Come on. There we go. This way. So now we're in the kitchen. And while we're in the kitchen, this is the kitchen table. And after he gives up begging for food, and he knows we won't give it to him, he often, my husband sits on the right here, and I sit here. And Murphy will park himself once he figures out he's not going to get a treat, Murphy will park himself between the two seats and sit on one of our feet. And come on, Murphy, let's go down here. Come. Then we go, and this is the seat where I read the story, Murphy Mondays, which will be posted on the website um, tonight around 5 o'clock. Come here, Murphy. Up you come. Can you come up? Up. Jump up there, he jumped up. So this is the seat where I sit to watch the TV. <laughs> and Murphy will whine to go into the seat so that he can be with me. So where he is now on the arm of the seat is one of his favorite spots. But if I stay here long enough, he will stretch right across my lap and put his head on the other arm of the other arm of this chair so that he stretched all the way across and it's really easy to pet him. And he loves doing that. I think that's one of the favorite spots he likes because he can actually lie right, ac right across. I'm checking on my, see if there's any questions. Murphy is really missing his his visits. He will go nuts. He used to go nuts when I just put on my shirt, but now he realizes that sometimes when I put on my shirt, I don't take him if I'm doing an orientation of another team and it's their second orientation. So he's learned to wait to me for me to put on his um, leash. When he sees me put on the leash and he puts on his uniform, then he knows he's going and he gets really excited. 
So now he's reserving that excitement for our walks. He gets pretty excited when, he, when we go for a walk. It was really funny the other day when I went out and with my daughter to get her medications and she went into the pharmacy to get the medications and I brought Murphy with me just to give us an outing and he whined in the back seat because when I take a car, do a car ride and he's with me, it normally means he gets to visit afterwards. And he was pretty disappointed he wasn't going to get to go visit. So he loves to snuggle. He loves to relax. He does this on the beds with the people we visit. He snuggles in, gets comfy, gets to sniffs around to get to know the person he's with. And then he snuggles into them and their touches normally will put him to sleep. So that's this floor. So we'll go downstairs and we'll see where he likes to be downstairs. So Murphy, are you ready to go downstairs? See if I can get down ahead of you. I'll go see if I can get down so that you can watch him coming down the stairs. Come on, Murph. Let's go. Come on. There we go. This way. I know I'm going backwards so that we can see you, but I'm not going to go backwards down the stairs. Come on, Murphy. Come on. He says, oh my goodness, he says, what is this mother of mine up to? Okay, all right, sit, sit, you sit, whoops, I gotta make sure I keep the phone in the right direction. Sit, Murphy, Murphy, sit, sit, Ahem. sit, good boy, sometimes I think he listens to uh -huh better than the sit. So I'm going, I am going backwards down the stairs, but I'm holding on to the railing. <laughs> and then I'll call him down so you can watch him come down the stairs. And the stairs are steep, as you can see. Almost there. There he is. Still see him. Okay, come, Murphy. Come. Come. Come, Murphy. He says, I think he thinks that I've completely lost my marbles. Come on, Murphy. Come. Here he comes. There he goes. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so this is the basement. So when my husband goes to sleep, he doesn't like me to watch the TV up there because he can hear it. So I watch the TV down here. Here, Murphy. Murphy. So Murphy actually has a bed down here, but he doesn't sleep on it very much. He's more interested in being up here with me. Murphy, Murphy, come. Up you come. Up. Come on. There. There you go. So he will snuggle like this. While I, if I'm watching TV, or this is often the time where I knit. This is where I knit a lot while I watch TV. And he will go to sleep this way, or he'll put his head again across my lap. And that makes it a little bit more difficult to, to knit, but I normally always find a way because I love the warmth and the snuggles of him across my lap. So this is his spot downstairs. So now we can go upstairs and see a couple of spots upstairs. Okay, let's go, Murphy. We're gonna go again. Let's go. We're gonna go upstairs. We go upstairs, come. Good boy, good boy. Okay, upstairs we go. Let's go, up we go. Oh, he's faster than me. That doesn't take too much. Okay, up you come, this way. Let's go upstairs, upstairs, up, let's go. Good boy, good boy, up we go. Have you ever knit anything for Murphy to wear? Oh, that's a good question. No, I haven't. I actually haven't knit for a while until my grandchildren were born, and now I knit all the time. Oh, we're gonna end up in there, Murphy. Come here, Murphy, no, here. I got them all confused. 
There we go. Come here. Sit. So, this is his upstairs bed. And he sleeps a lot there. Our bedroom is just there. And he's not allowed in our bed. So he will often stay here. Oh, tr uh, okay. Murphy is eight years old. Yep, he's eight years old and his birthday was in February. So I know I haven't knit anything for Murph. Okay, come in here. So I didn't manage to get my study very clean, so you'll see my messy desk. Come on. So this is where I do most of my computer work for St. John Ambulance. And the work hold for the household. So Murphy is at my feet. Stay Murphy. So there you can see my desk and how close he is to me. So he likes to sit there. Sometimes I will read at night in one of these chairs and Murphy will also snuggle me like he did downstairs. And the last place I want to show you where Murphy likes to relax I'm looking at the questions here seeing if there's anything I've missed so far Okay what, oh, what is his favorite treat? That's a good question. So he, I trained him, although I got him at seven months and he was mostly trained himself, trained by the breeder. Um, we train him with cheese and I swear he can smell cheese 10 kilometers away. <laughs> if he smells cheese in anything, he really wants it. Um, he also, we've also given him carrots and <laughs> I, I can't smell, so I can't say what things smell like, but a friend gave us a couple pieces of carrot cake um, the other day, at, respecting social distancing, and Murphy, I was on the end of a walk with Murphy, and he went a little bit nuts, and I realized he was smelling the carrots in the carrot cake. So he loves his carrots, he loves cheese, and I give him a dental treat when he comes home from visiting, and he loves those too. And basically, I think he'd eat just about anything if we let him, but he's only allowed to eat his dog food, cheese, carrots, and that's about it, and his and dog treats. Okay, Murphy, let's go to the last spot I want to show everybody. Come here. I'm going to show you where he sleeps at night. Come on, Murph. Up you come. So this is a spare bedroom. Come on, up you come. Go. Up, up. Go. Come on. Go in. There. So, this is where he sleeps at night. And before the pandemic, my husband traveled a lot. So Murphy is not allowed in our bedroom, but when my husband travels and he's away from home, then I switch bedrooms and I come in here and sleep with Murphy. And Murphy is normally in it before I am, so he warms up my side of the bed. I have to push him over because he would take up the whole bed if, he, if I allowed him to, but I kind of like it because he warms up my side of the bed. So the last thing that I do before I go to sleep at night is Murphy's parked up here. And I, no, I don't know how we're going to work this now. Okay, I think we're going to turn it around. So you're going to see me for a minute. And we're going to do a selfie. So the last thing that I do at night is I give him a kiss. And I tell him how much I love him. 
So that's a really important thing to do with everybody you know. Whether you're, they're, you're, they're lucky enough to be in your household and you can do it by giving them a hug and an actual kiss or whether it's virtually. So none of you can touch Murph right now, but he sends all of you a hug and a kiss. So I'm going to switch the camera around again. There we go. So does anybody have any more any more questions for me someone said they thought it was cute that i switch bedrooms <laughs> yeah i was determined i was going to find i know i shouldn't be sleeping with them all the time so i was determined i was going to find a way that <laughs> i could sleep with them once in a while are there any other questions for me today Oh, does Murphy ever bark or make noise? That's a really good question. Hardly ever, believe it or not. I have him out in the yard, not on a leash because he will stay in the yard. Um, and a dog will walk by, like, I mean, within 10 feet of him. And he doesn't make a sound and he doesn't move. Um, when I'm in the house, when we're in the house and someone comes to the door... He does not bark. Um, the only time, even when he needs to go out to go to the bathroom, he doesn't bark. He stands, he sits beside the back door. Um, the only time you hear him make a sound is if it's time for his treat or it's time for his supper. So I tried to tell him he's got so many minutes left to believe it or not, it actually calms him down for a while but he'll bark a little while later and then I'll say how much time is left so he makes very very little noise there hardly ever does he oh but he snores I didn't tell you that I'm telling you all about the fact that that he I don't think he snores as loud as Annabelle but he does snore <laughs> any more questions for me Uh, I'm not seeing any more questions, but you're welcome. You're welcome to send them to me, and I will watch the website if you think of something else. Um, and I will certainly try to answer them. Okay. Does he bark at people he likes? Um, no. Um, I have rarely heard him bark at another dog, but that is really rare. Um, and that's never initiated. It's always in response. And as soon as I tell him to be quiet, he is quiet. Um, so, But he gets excited when he sees people he likes. He doesn't bark. Um, he will jump up on them. Um, it's obvious he's excited when he sees people that he likes. He hugs so let me see if I can show you that. Um, he's so comfortable, I hate to disturb him. Okay, Murphy, come. Come on, down. One, one last thing, and then you can go back up. Come on down. Ugh, I'm pulling him down. Okay, now this should be interesting. I don't know how I'm going to film this, but we'll try it. Okay, sit, Murphy. Now, I give him a hand signal. Maybe we'll do a selfie again. Okay, I do a hand signal on my shoulder and tell him to hug. So let's see if he'll do it if I'm doing this one-handed. Hug, Murphy. Hug. Hug. There we go. And he normally gives me a kiss. And then what normally happens is he, oh, he's not going to do it today. He normally will get down and snuggle my belly. So that's pretty special. Um, does he know any tricks? Well, that Charlene is about the... <laughs> the <laughs> Only trick that he knows how to do, he will shake a paw, but he expects a treat at, at the end of that. So he doesn't do that on command when we're visiting, unfortunately. He sometimes, though, not always, I often to tell the people who are visiting that he may not do it, and he's not, they're not to be offended if he doesn't, because he normally only does it with people he knows. But he sometimes will hug some of the people we visit after I teach them how to do that. All right, I think that's, 
I think we can sign off. So Murphy, come. I'm going to put back on Murphy. Thank you for listening. You can follow me on Instagram on Murphy Mondays. You can hear the reading of, I'm going to switch it back to Murphy here. You um, can, he's on my feet, you see. <laughs> I told you he likes to sit on your feet. That's exactly where he is, is on my foot. Um, the reading of Murphy Mondays will be posted on the therapydogs.ca website this evening. You can follow Murphy on Instagram on Murphy Mondays. Send in more questions if you have them. And continue to watch the website and the Facebook posts because all kinds of our dogs are going to be live. You're going to get to know our dogs in a way you couldn't. So there's an extra bonus to this being virtual. Even though you can't touch the dogs, you're going to learn something about the dogs that you didn't know um, when they were visiting. So thanks a lot. Bye for now. Bye.